It's the worldwide movement. And uh, I'm not personally attached to this particular park. In some ways, a forceful eviction is only going to strengthen what we're doing here. That's the reaction tonight as a court decision draws near. This very well could be your last night here. Yes, yes, that's true, that's true. It's to be appreciated. The Occupy movement here in Toronto is waiting for a judge's decision that will come down tomorrow morning to find out if they will still be allowed to camp here in St. James Park. At a press conference held earlier today at St. James Park Cathedral, members said they might have found a loophole in the city's plans to evict them. And we've obtained copies of the 1959 agreement that basically transfer a portion of the western part of St. James Park to the church and the eastern portion of the park uh, to the city of Toronto. Protesters now hope to appeal for sanctuary to the dean before the judge gives his decision. We're seeking still to work in partnership with the church and what we're, we're afraid of is that even the church is feeling the pressures of, you know, um, the city and of these greater authorities. But as we heard last week, St. James Cathedral will abide by the court's decision, whatever it is. That means no sanctuary if there is an order to leave. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the U.S., outrage continues to grow over the actions of police at an Occupy protest at the University of California, Davis. This police officer who pepper sprayed a group of students has now been suspended along with a second officer. Meanwhile, back here at home, if the eviction is approved, Toronto police and city bylaw officers will likely enforce a trespass order to get protesters out. Stay tuned tomorrow on City News Channel for the latest on this decision. In St. James Park, Rima Carr, City News.